Hi. Hi, everybody. Today is January 26th, 2019. There we go. Got it. Got it. Uh, it's been about 10 days since you saw our last video. Uh, just been kind of busy, kind of hectic, uh, running here, running there. Um, on the 19th, we went for the uh, opening day at the RV show. Uh, not by our choice, but Vicki and Randy, our neighbors, wanted to go. And uh, we said, okay, if that's what you want to do, but we have to leave early so we can find a parking spot. So I think we were in the parking spot by 8, 8.15. By 8.15. Yeah. And uh, it costs, it, we paid parking, but that's okay. Uh, we got nice and close, actually, to our RV dealer, which we had a few questions about anyway. So we went over and talked to them while we're waiting for the tent to open. So uh, what did you buy at the RV show? Oh, I bought some um, wing sauce, which was really good. And I don't remember the name, but it was really good. And I bought these tray cozies, which there's a silver pan in there that's replaceable. These are they're, these are still really good. You pull the corners. So when I'm outside barbecuing, she'll hand me one of these to put all our food in. See, it's got, is this cleanable or replaceable? Cleanable Both. and replaceable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a insulated, it's light, it's not really heavy. You know me, I'm looking for, when you got an RV, you don't want to get too heavy. Right. And it just keeps cold stuff cold and hot stuff hot. So when I'm out barbecuing, I put all the meats in here. Close it up, hand it to her, it stays warm until we're ready to serve it. Be great for salads, desserts, pretty much anything. I got two of them. Yep. I got a good deal on two of them. Well, it was so. a two for 40, right? Two for 40, Two yeah. for 40 or one for 25, so. Yeah, so. She really yeah, liked it, and uh, I thought it was a good thing to get, too, so. Because well, we she gave up all her, uh, uh, temptations. what? Temptations. Temptations that she was I buying. I kept one, little one. That she was buying on QVC. So uh, uh, now that we have a bigger rig and she has a little bit more room, she can replenish some of that missing dishware as long as it's light. Yeah, Mr. Light. Yep. So um, we also got the uh, screen door. Got a handle for the screen door. You ever open your screen door and either the wind catches it or you have nothing to hang on to while you're opening it? They make these nice handles that you can mount uh, uh, on the screen door. I'll, I'll put in a picture right here. Okay, so uh, we also got a light for our flagpole, but I think I mentioned that maybe already. No, I couldn't have mentioned it. We haven't made the video yet. No, you didn't mention it. We haven't made the video. Um, uh, I have a U.S. flag, but I haven't been able to fly it because I don't want to take it down every night. And you don't fly a U.S. flag in the dark. So uh, I told Oma as soon as I could find a, a, a solar light, uh, I would get one, uh, which I did. And uh, now we fly, fly our flag 24-7. Mm -hmm. What else did we get? Uh, happy Camper. Happy Camper. We've got to supply till next year. Happy Camper, if you're watching our last video, is the product that we put in our tanks after we dump our tanks. No odor, and it seems to, uh, for the black tank, it really does seem to break things down uh, a little bit faster than those pods that we used to buy. Yeah, we bought some eyeglass cleaner. Yeah, eyeglass cleaner. Uh, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we were back by 2 o'clock, I think. Yeah, we were back by 2. We grabbed something quick to eat. Uh, one line was really long. Must have been a favorite. They sell turkey legs. Fried mm -hmm. turkey legs. Sounded delicious. It was really more than I wanted to eat. Yeah. Um, so we ended up getting some corn dogs. We haven't had those for a while. Uh, not as nice or as good as the ones that Tom and Lori were eating. Boy, I would love to know where they got those. I know they got them at the uh, uh, Grand Design Rally, I believe, but uh, I don't know where you can get them in town. Alpha Rally. Was it? Oh, did they um, go over to the... Uh, no, I thought they were at the Grand... Doesn't matter. Anyway. Yeah. 
but they were corn dogs, and we had garlic fries. Uh, backing up a couple days, um, on Thursday, January 17th, I was on my way out of um, uh, La Posa South, and all these vehicles were backed up to the trash bins, and it was obvious that they were planning to haul some trash. Uh, the trash was being thrown on the ground in front of the dumpsters. If you know anything about garbage pickup, you won't get your garbage picked up if, if the uh, truck that comes in to pick it up can't get to the uh, refuge uh, bins, to the dumpster. So uh, there were volunteers that were picking up the garbage, and apparently they were going to run it up to the dump. Well, I thought they were running the quartzite dump, which I knew where it was. When I got there, they were closed. So I was going to run back here to find out, hey, where, where's everybody taking their garbage? And it was actually the landfill up in Parker. So uh, that, happened, that ended up being a long, drawn-out process um, because they wanted to weigh every truck. I only had like 10, 12 bags because that's all I could fit in the cap. My mm -hmm. bag plus about 10 or 11, whatever it took to fill up the small void I had left in the, uh, underneath the cap of the truck. But there were these other trucks. I mean, they were loaded, loaded up really good. So the process took over, let's see, by the time I hit the uh, dumpster here, and by the time we got up to the landfill, I think it was close to three hours. But uh, the dumpsters have not been overflowing since, so yeah, it, it, it might have sent a message to the locals. So then I ran into Parker, and uh, because the landfill was so muddy, I stopped at a, a place to wash the wheel wells out. Stopped at Ace Hardware, stopped at Walmart, stopped at Spanky's. Shout out to Spanky's. I think they had one of my parts I had ordered. Uh, we put a, a vent hood over the top of the kitchen vent, and I wanted the bug shield. So if we ever left it open, the bugs wouldn't fly in. Yeah. Uh, what else we do? Went to Yuma. Yep. What we do down there? You got your truck washed <laughs> again. Well, this time we got the whole truck wash. There's actually a truck wash down there that has high clearance. They have an eight foot clearance and you can't find car washes that have that high of a clearance. Um, Did some laundry. $9 for a truck wash. Oh, sorry. Did some laundry, got some groceries. Yep, had lunch. Had lunch. We, we had a, uh, a meet to go to that, that evening. Uh, his and her vlogs, if you ever, if you ever follow him, and we were on our way there. We're we're fighting the GPS to see what coordinates it was. Apparently, I was on the wrong side of Plumosa Road. It was on the other side. Right about then, Oma said, "We need to go back now." And uh, without uh, further ado, uh, we had to run back to the campground. Uh, uh, something didn't agree with her during lunch, so. We missed, by the time we got back here, we were already late getting there. By the time we got back here, it was even later. So we just uh, uh, unofficially canceled our visit with them. So sorry, our apologies to Rebecca and Ben. Uh, we heard uh, uh, from others that uh, it was a great turnout. Um, uh, maybe we'll catch you some other time. We'll definitely follow you as you're traveling with your uh, uh, EV around the world and see where you go. Um, what else? It's supposed to be a short one. Not really much else, just doing our daily routines of checking the mail. Uh, generator's been giving me a fit. Um, I, I've been running propane since we got here, and the generator has this little plastic piece that holds the bottle nozzle on the bottle. It cracks. And I've gone through... Two of them already. Champion's been very gracious and sending me a, a new regulator. Unfortunately, they're sending me the whole kit, the whole hose kit every time they do it. All I need is the little regulator. I can't get that plastic piece replaced. As emergency repair, we've been using, not, not that we recommended, garden hose gaskets you know those thick little rubber pieces you put on the end of a garden hose before you screw them onto a faucet we, if we double stack those we'd get enough pressure to get the check valve open on the propane tank 
Um, then I found a local uh, RV place in town that uh, had regulators. Uh, brought it back out, seemed to be working, then it wasn't working. Took it back to them, found out that the regulator I bought was adjustable. So we, uh, they put the adjustments on it, I brought it back, we immediately tested it. It worked, we said, ha ha, that was the problem. The next morning, we went to run it. I think it was, yeah, the next. Yeah, next yeah, morning next we went morning. to run it. After, after the generator, I should note that the generator had been running a short period of time. Um, but well, when we it started, bo yeah, it started yeah. bogging down. Yeah, we turned it off like we normally do during the day. Then when we went to start it up again, it started acting up now again. Now, this, this was in the morning. It was running. What I was trying to get at is somebody said that maybe the either the regulator or the nozzle to the generator is frosting up in cooler weather. And that's what's given it, uh, it, that's why it's not running. Uh, if I ran out there and pulled the choke while it was sitting there uh, misfiring, you might say, uh, it would smooth out, but it wouldn't uh, recover from the um, uh, low idle. So anyway, w uh, long story short, uh, we've, we've gone ahead and we've switched to gasoline uh, we're getting, it's a one and a half gallon tank and we're getting nine hours out of a tank of gas. So we only run it about uh, five hours in the evening and about five hours in the morning. So we're putting one, we're, we're basically using about one and a half gallons a day. Yeah. So, okay. all right. Anyway, we know we haven't done a lot of videos. We were going to do one for, oh, we didn't even mention it. Your new toy in the bedroom. Oh, no, we'll say hey, that. Hey, the new toy in the bedroom. Right, we'll say that. <laughs> no, we're not going to save it. I am not going to edit that video. Really? I think it's a good video. It's a fun video. It's it's funny, but I'm having a hard time getting Jack Crack covered up. Yeah. Sharon, you got that Jack Crack? <laughs> if, we'll find out if Sharon's watching if she just <laughs> fell off of her chair. Uh yeah, we're having trouble. I'm getting trouble uh, uh, getting the video properly edited for public viewing, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, new toy in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, tell them what you got. I got a central vacuum cleaner. Just like she used to have. Just like I used to have. Gotta have one. Uh, we had one under the bed. It only had uh, one hose adapter, but it still came with the 40-foot hose. So we can get from one end of the RV to the other. Uh, this one came with two hose adapters. So we decided to mount the vacuum head component out in the cargo area. So whenever I want to clean out the cargo area, take everything out, I just grab the vacuum hose and clean out there. But better yet, because of the 40-foot hose, I can now vacuum out the truck. Yep. So, and all she has to do is plug it into a uh, uh, connection that we have in the bedroom, a wall plate. And as soon as the metal ring makes connection um, with the uh, electrical contact inside the plug, 24-volt uh, connector, uh, it automatically uh, turns the power on to the uh, vacuum as long as power is available we don't have the generator running right now oh i just kicked the table oh i made it oops jiggle. yeah jiggle. so finally i see we're getting up to almost 15 minutes on this not counting what i'm going to edit out um <clears throat> we just want to remind everybody when we're not doing our videos because we are getting to getting to the end of our stay there's not really a lot to say anymore other than we're enjoying the weather and we're waiting for our uh, our schedule for our camp hosting duties back in Pennsylvania. Uh, we're just relaxing, uh, reading a book. Uh, Marie has some activities that she she has a hobby uh, that she works on, and we're just enjoying uh, our peace and quiet. Um, so what I'm getting at is, if you don't hear from us. Please, please go to our Facebook channel, our Facebook page, Opa and Oma's Camping Adventures, and see what we're doing. 
Because if we have a minute, we'll take, snap a picture or something and right. show you what we're doing. We just don't think it's worthy enough to make a whole video out of. Right. So. If we do something fun and adventurous, which we do have a few things planned before we leave the area, then we'll videotape. But we're just doing our everyday routine. Yep. You know, make breakfast, lunch, dinner. Take the girls for their walks. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we've been in our new home now for 26 days. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I like it. Yep. I'm slowly getting rid of some things that I don't need. We put everything from the old camper in here, but there's some things that I can get rid of. Right. That would be take some weight off of it. Because, yep. you know, Opa, he's weight conscious. Yeah, well, we don't know how much we're going to be towing until we run this thing across the scale. My guesstimate is we were 16.5 with the Cougar total combined weight. I think we're going to be 2,600 pounds more with this rig. Yeah, but we'll be getting rid of a few things. Yeah. Some heavy things. We, we've been slowly cleaning out bins and stuff. You know, we Books, like she said, we threw everything in here. Oh, yeah. That, that stuff's heavy. Yeah. Stuff I mean, we really don't need to be carrying. Um... We'll start uh, working on the pantry, not replenishing it, the refrigerator, right. getting it empty, ready to uh, uh, go down the road. Uh, anyway, we're getting long-winded. That's a future video. Remember, look for us. Look for us on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe and let your friends know. There you go. Yeah, your friends might get bored waiting for us to put on a video, so... Better yet, just tell them where, where to find us on uh, on Facebook. Lucy. I wonder if I can, I guess I can do a link down in the description area. Lucy, you got anything to say? Ethel, you got anything to say? Oh, we forgot. The girls got haircuts. Oh, yeah, they got haircuts. See how much we've been doing? That's how busy we've been. We've done so much, we forgot what we did. Girls got hair, had haircuts. Yep. Huh. That should get, that should get them miss, home. They miss caring. They miss Karen. They miss the pet spa at home. We have a mobile mobile pet spa service that actually comes to our house, wherever our house is, and uh, takes care of our girls. Karen, huh? You like Karen. Okay. All right. All righty. See you on Facebook. Say bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.